This is the part of the two kilometer portage that you can skip. That only exists thanks to the beavers because I don't know if it'll show in this video, but they built up this wall here. We're a good four, a good four feet higher than the rest of the water level. And it allows us to skip a good chunk of the portage. Sorry for the wind. We pretty much just finished our first day. This is the end of the portage into Winda. And this is the lake we're staying on tonight. And this is just, uh, the, the lake's actually over there through this little channel. And it was a very, a much easier day when it's 10 degrees colder, there's no bugs whatsoever, and you're carrying 40 to 50 pounds less weight. This is our second morning. We're leaving the Wendy campsite. And as you can tell, the fog is pretty impressive this morning. So hopefully we'll be able to find all our portages. There you go, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's swimming, he's gonna bite me. <laughs> this is Mark's fish. Is Mark's first lake trout. This is a lake trout. Mark's first lake trout. He came off. Uh, he pulled him into the boat. Slimy. Oh, dude, they're impossible to grab. Oh shit. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Hold him up uh, out that way a bit. There we go. So I can see him. Oh, he's gonna fucking... Yeah. Cool. Oh, one second. So fishing uh, from shore, Mark just caught a giant <laughs> lake trout. Uh, this thing's uh wow, what do you think? Five pounds, six pounds? Easily. I don't want to let it go with the fucking lure, man. Okay, hold on. You suffered enough? Don't let him let go, hold him by the tail. Oh, he's got power. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, 
I got slimy hands. <laughs>